Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a quick cool down stretch that you can do at the end of each workout. I want you guys to use this as a cool down after every single workout that you do on this channel because cooling down and stretching is so important. I say that in every single stretch video that I put up on here, but I really want to just hammer that home for you guys because stretching in general on a daily basis is going to improve you and your body in so many ways, but stretching after a workout is really going to help loosen those muscles, keep you nice and mobile, and also prevent injuries. So this is just a quick little stretch routine that is going to target the full body. It's perfect for after a workout. You don't need any equipment or anything, just a little bit of space around you and a soft surface such as a yoga mat or exercise mat beneath you. And I think that's it. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so we're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to take a nice big reach up and come all the way forward, a nice forward fold. You can keep a slight bend in your knees and just kind of hang here for a few moments. You can bring your hands above your head and just let yourself hang here. You can sway from side to side if that feels good. You can place your hands or your palms on the floor and you can walk your feet out like so, just stretching one leg at a time. both heels on the floor, little bend in the knees, come up for a halfway lift, and back down, big bend, and slowly roll up. Now we're going to just take some nice big rolls with our neck, we're going to do a couple one way, keep those shoulders pressed down so you're really feeling the stretch in your neck. And other side, or other way. And slightly, just slight pressure. You don't want to put too much pressure here on your neck. Grab the head and pull to one side. And also make sure that you're pressing the shoulder down so you're really feeling that stretch in your neck. And forward, again, very, very light pressure. You can turn your head from side to side if that feels good. All right, we're gonna take some nice big circles with the arms, just nice and loose. And other way. Grab one arm, bring it forward, press that shoulder down, feel that stretch. And other arm. Really press that shoulder down. And bring the arm behind you. And slowly let go of the arms. Place your palms flat on the floor. Hold here. And 
And then bring your hands to one side or one foot. Stretching out the one side. Back to center. And other side. Back to center, nice big bend in the knees, and slowly roll up. Now we're gonna face one direction on your mat, or one, face to one side or one wall. Feet come apart, reach up, and down. If you can't reach the floor, you can prop yourself up on your shin, or here on your hamstring, but you or on your quad. You really wanna feel the stretch in your hamstring though. So make sure that your hips are nice and square and you're sticking that booty back so you're really feeling that stretch in the hamstring. And come down into a lunge position, hand on either side of the legs. Drop that knee and release the toes, bring the arms up. Make sure your hips are nice and square with the wall in front of you. You should be really feeling that stretch in that hip flexor. And take a nice lift with the upper body. Come back slightly just to increase that stretch and come all the way forward, hands back on either side of the foot. Tuck the toes back into a lunge. And step the feet together, release that neck, stretch, and big bend and roll up. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. So switch that leg that's in front. Again, keep the hips nice and square. Send that booty back. Feel the stretch in that hamstring. And come down into a lunge, hands on either side of the foot. Drop that knee, untuck the toes, arms come up. Feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Nice big reach up and back. Back to center, hands on either side of the foot, back into a lunge. Bring the feet together, bend, and slowly roll up. All right, we're gonna come down into a seated position here. We're going to start off by placing both of our feet, or ex extending both of our legs. We're going to reach up. Make sure that you're sitting really on top of those sit bones. So lift your booty up, send the booty backward, and then just make sure that your hips are nice and square, and just slowly reach forward as far as you can go. If that's just here, that's fine. Just reach and just let the neck drop. Reach a little bit further and come up. One foot crosses over the other leg and twist, feeling the stretch in that glute. And other way or other, other leg. here so cross one leg over the other arms come through the legs grab that knee and bring it into you you can place one hand on this knee 
to make sure that it's not coming too close and you're feeling that stretch in the glute.
bigger legs a shake. The last stretch, this is optional, but I really, really love this stretch. It's really great for the shoulders and it's just a really great opener. If you're going to find a wall or some flat area near you, you could also do this on like a countertop or something like that. But you're gonna place your hands on the wall and just allow your head to come through like so and you're really gonna feel the stretch in your shoulders. I guess we'll do it here. So just place your hands on the wall let that body drop, let that neck drop. And just feel that stretch. All right guys, and that's it. So that was a quick little 15 minute or so uh, cool down stretch routine. This is also just a really great stretch routine that you can throw into your morning routine just to get your body moving and mobile in the morning. Um, but it's also a really great quick little stretch routine, full body stretch routine that you can add in after your workout. I'm gonna have this video linked as well as my warm up video under every single workout from now on. So if you're looking for this cool down video, you can either save it to your playlist or just always check the description of my workout videos and you'll see this cool down here and you can complete that after your workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed this cool down in the comments down below. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.